What's a ladder? So a ladder has ascending and descending. That's what a ladder is all about. The ladder has rungs, horizontal rungs, and it has two vertical beams. You know what it means to ascend and descend? It means that life is going to have ups and downs. We have to have a certain type of cognition. We have to have a certain type of cognizance. We have to have a certain type of perception and recognition of the fact that if we're human beings, we're not sticks and stones. If we're organic, animated, living human beings, we are going to have ascending and descending moments. There are going to be ups and downs. And if we have too great of an expectation to have an idyllic life where everything is serene and bucolic and everything is blissful, we're going to be suffer with a lot of disappointments and setbacks and frustration. That's not how Hashem created us. Hashem created us as human beings. And human beings means that we're going to have to live to understand, to expect challenge and confrontation and setbacks and failures. That's okay. There's going to be ascending moments. There's going to be descending moments. That's the latter. Yaakov Inu is now on the path to build a nation. Not only a nation, but as the now, the recipient of the covenant, he is the conveyor, disseminator to the entire world of the covenant, of monotheism, of morality, of ethics. He's building a destiny. He's building a fate that will impact, that will influence world history. And what is his first image? His first image is a sulam, is the ladder. Ups and downs. I'll never forget, I had to make a pastoral visit once to the ICU. And I'm standing in the ICU, and one of the patients is hooked up to a monitor. And I'm watching the monitor, and it's zigzag. Very, very tumultuous. A lot of frenzy in the monitor, the heart monitor, the EKG. And all of a sudden... It's a flat line. And I said, gee, how peaceful. How nice. And I was getting a little headache, getting a little dizzy watching the ups. And then all of a sudden I hear code blue, code blue. And the nurses come in and the doctors come in. And they're all frantic. There's tremendous. If that was a frenzy, this is even more of a frenzy. And they're so, 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 so working so diligently and trying to persevere as much as possible to resuscitate the patient, but the patient's dead. And I realized then that the flat line, as beautiful as it was, as serene and blissful as it was, it meant death. As long as there was ups and downs, it was life. Once you have that flat line, there's no hope. So cherish and treasure the down. It's okay. As long as you understand that if you fall, you get to get up. Sometimes it takes moral support and encouragement to get up. But you have to get up. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.